Elapsed orbital duration, 78 hours, 14 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Subject vital signs, blood pressure normal, heart rate, respiration good, brainwave pattern A-OK. -okay. It's feeding time. <laughs> Activate automatic food paste dispensal unit. Roger, FBDU is a go. Affirmative, we are blowing paste. <laughs> He's eating it. We have paste down. <laughs> Roger, we are approaching Cosmic Ray Storm. Initiate emergency evasive. Whoops, he spilled my coffee. Hey, get some paper towels. I mean, uh, deploy absorption panels. Roger, on the padding, I, I think we're seeing some progress. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. Thank you, Houston. Looks like we're out of the woods on that coffee stain. Uh, Houston, uh, how's that monkey doing up there? Oh, man! Uh, Houston, was that you? Central tracking, we didn't copy that. Copy this, you jerks! Get me down out of here! Uh, Houston, that was the monkey. Roger, Central tracking. We have talking monkey and brainwaves in the cage. Super genius. Uh-oh. You clowns! What are you guys shooting monkeys into space for? It's been done to death! Well, uh, Yank, we, uh, just wanted to see what, what monkeys were like in space. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll save you time. I'll tell you what monkeys are like in space. Very angry! And we're awful sorry, little buddy, but that ray storm blew out our remote guidance system. We can't get you down without it. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll get myself down, you dinks. But I'll see you in court! Good morning, Arthur. Who are you? What are you doing in my apartment? If you guys are selling insurance, we don't want any. No, Tick. We're with the government. Well, no thanks. We've got all the government we need. We're secret government agents. We're here on official business. Pack a small bag. Your flight leaves in three hours. Uh, okay. What? This is Yank. Until 0800 hours this morning, he was a normal monkey in space. Due to massive cosmic ray exposure, he now possesses the highest IQ on the planet. We want him to be the new head of our space program. He's that good, but here's the problem. Slideshow. Boring. Losing consciousness. The gang's capsule is about to splash down here, near the small island nation of Pokoponesia. This is Pineapple Pokopo, international troublemaker and all-around ugly customer. He rules Pokoponesia with an iron fist. We feel certain he's going to make a grab for our monkey. Tick! Mm -hmm. uh, grab, grab the monkey. Got it. Our government can't enter Pokopo's territorial waters without risking an international incident. That's where you come in, gentlemen. But why us? You were recommended by one of the country's most patriotic heroes. Hi, boys. American, American maid? maid? She'll be the third member of your mission team. Here, you get two-way wrist radios and everything. Oh, smooth. Where is everybody? Where's my boat? That's it! You're in a lot of trouble, Houston! This, this is abandonment! This is mental anguish! <laughs> Great! Great! <laughs> Don't think this isn't going to appear in my deposition! Hey! Get out of here! Hey! <laughs> hey, that's government property! Don't eat me! I'm smart! Little monkey, welcome to Pineapple Pokopo's island domain. You, Yank, will be our guest for the next... Uh, I'm sorry, what is a monkey's average lifespan? 20 to 40 years, what's it to you? Our guest for the next 20 to 40 years. What? Where's your phone? You will become Pokoponesia's first chief military advisor. You know, I've had my eye on Hawaii for quite some time, and that's where you come in. You will build me some kind of oh, fantastic genius technology machine that will allow me to enslave Hawaii and rule it with an iron fist. Or maybe something with neutrons. What do you think? Hmm. Come here. No, no, come here. Back off, fruit face! Oh, yes, I expected you might respond this way, so I've prepared a little speech. <clears throat> I am not a smart man. I am not an honest man. I am not a clean man. I am not a rational man, but 
I am a very big man. You are a very smart monkey, but you are a very, very small monkey. Big man, small monkey. Get it? Got it. Arthur, come in. Repeat, come in, Arthur. I mean, Arnie. Over. Tick, cut it out. Uh, Arthur, you're gonna blow my cover. My code name is Nick. I don't know you. Well, if you're going to be that way about it. Tick. Nick. Nick, we're not supposed to know each other. We're supposed to be three separate tourists enjoying a carefree island holiday. But what about our secret mission? Yes, that's the whole point. It's a secret, so quit talking about it. And if you don't stop spitting into your wrist radio, I swear I'll bust it over your head. Excuse me. I don't know either of you gentlemen, but I can't help but noticing that you're screwing everything up. Uh-oh. Would anyone care for some complimentary tap water? Oh, great, great. And could I have a fresh pillow? This one's a little flat. Oh, and could I have another one of those salty peanuts? Oh, and my lips are a little dry. Could I have some balm? This is your captain speaking. I've turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened and that your seats are in an upright position. May I remind you that in the likely event of a water landing, the seat cushions beneath you are the property of Pineapple Air and may not be removed from the cabin. <clears throat> and thank you for choosing Pineapple Air. Welcome to the Royal Pineapple Hotel. Name? Janine. Very good. And the last name? Oh. Last name, uh, Smith. Hey, no one told me we had to think of last names. Over. And you, sir? Uh, uh, Arnie, uh, 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 Jones. Very good. Sir? Oh, uh, Nick. Uh, some Nick Soap Dish. Nick Soap Dish. Uh-huh, Nick Soap Dish. Uh, yes, it's uh, French. That's funny. It sounds more made up to me. <laughs> well... Time to hit the surf! Welcome to the I can't believe it! Tourists have finally come to Poca Panesia. Oh, my ads in those travel magazines are really starting to pay off. Oh, and pretty too. How's the water, Mr. Soap Dish? Oh, you know, it's a little sharky, but it's okay once you get used to it. Ho, 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 ho. At last, Boca Panicia is becoming the new tourist hotspot. Armpit of the Pacific, indeed. But, General Pocopo, something tells me those tourists are secret agents from America. Nonsense. They're just plain folks out for a good time. It's our job to give it to them. We just have to find out what they want. I think they want the monkey. And I think you are not listening to me. What we need here is a little market research. Alive, no! Now, you get back to the hotel and invite that pretty one up here. We'll have a little dinner and find out what she's looking for in an island paradise. Oh, a little monkey. How's that fantastic genius technology machine coming? I'm just itching to conquer Hawaii. Oh, yeah. We'll have that island chain on its knees in no time. Good, good. <laughs> Come in. Nick. Arnie. All right. This is Secret Agent Nick over. Listen, we've got to put together a plan. What do we know so far? Well, Pocopo stays in a fortified palace just off the north shore of the island. Yes, and it's surrounded by deadly riptides and shark-infested waters. Nick, what did you get? Well, I found some very pretty shells, and I got this lovely leg. Watch it. Someone's coming. Janine Smith. His Excellency General Pocopo cordially invites you to his palace for dinner, followed by a one-woman focus group on tourism in Pocopanesia. It's free. Great. 
I'll be there. What a break. You boys work your way out to the palace somehow. I'll call when I find Yank. How is my genius machine coming along, little monkey? It'll be ready by tonight. Tonight, really? Excellent. But tell me, how does it work? Well, you just aim it at Hawaii and pull the trigger. Ah, good work. And after we've secured Honolulu, we'll reload and conquer Wyoming. Yeah. You know, Poke, as your chief prisoner and military advisor, I feel I should inform you that your logic is flawed. You see, you're succumbing to the fallacy of the unbounded middle. Wow. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But what is this unbounded middle you speak of, oh, genius monkey mine? It's, well, you know, uh, on the ends it's, uh, and then it's creamy, but uh, I used to know, but somehow I, I, I can't remember. Come in, Secret Agent Arnie. This is Secret Agent Nick. Over. Yeah, yeah, this is Arnie. Where are you, Nick? I'm in position and prepared to embark. Are you in position and prepared to embark? Tick, I mean, Nick, would you give me a few minutes? It's a jungle out here. That's a big 10-4. Agent Nick, out. Ow! Oh. Well, Miss Smith, my general philosophy is this. Whether you're oppressing a people or running a resort, you go with your strengths. In America, you've got your Grand Canyon, your Mount Rushmore. In France, you've got your Eiffel Tower. And what exactly are Polka Panisha's strengths, General? Well, we got two things, basically. We got pineapples, and we got sharks. Go with the pineapples. Yank's journal, last entry. Oh, woe to the whip that withers and the brief, bright candle of my mind. Earlier, when I was talking to that big ape polka po, I could feel it beginning to happen. Based on my calculations, the effects of the cosmic ray storm on my brain will wear off in only a few short hours. In, in, in other words, I'm gonna be real dumb real soon. Arnie, Arnie, come in. Ar oh, come on, Arthur, come in. I won't spit in the radio anymore, I promise. I think this sightseer has seen enough sights for today. <laughs> enough for a lifetime. <laughs> Arthur, do you read me? Are you okay? Help! I told you I'm a tourist! Help! <sighs> I'm gonna tell my travel agent about this. Yeah, right, Mr. Tourist. The only thing you're gonna be saying is, ow, ow, there's a shark biting my leg. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you jerks, let that tourist go! What? No! <laughs> Contact! <laughs> Ow. Arthur! Well, I didn't mean it in that sense. No, oh, forget it. Listen, we've got to get out to the fortress before those henchmen can warm Pocopo. All right, then. Let's hang ten for justice! So, Janine, uh, may I call you Janine? If I were to enslave the population of, say, Hawaii and rule it with an iron fist, would that be the kind of place you might enjoy vacationing? <clears throat> You've got a little, uh, a little pineapple on your face. <laughs> Janine, I'd like you to meet Yank, my pet monkey and chief military advisor. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> uh, he's actually very smart. <laughs> Say something smart, Yank. Uh, uh, please excuse me, Janine. Yank, I'm not really Janine Smith. I'm American made. I'm a superhero. I've been sent to get you out of here. I think I should tell you, I I'm not the genius monkey I used to be. <laughs> That's not the point. My job is to get you back to America. They want you to head the space program. Well, it's their money. <laughs> Hello? Oh, why, no, it's going wonderfully. Uh, why should... What? I'm telling you, we just had a fight with the other two in the jungle. They're secret agents, and they're heading your way. 
then they all must be secret agents. Oh, this is so sad. Now I have to feed Janine to the sharks, and we've still never had a tourist. <laughs> Well, well, Janine Smith, where were we? Ah, yes, Pocahontas' strong points. I trust you've enjoyed our delicious pineapples. Uh -oh. Now I think it's time for you to sample our sharks. <laughs> Well, Miss Smith, you played a little joke on me. Now I have a little joke for you. You'll never get away with this, Pokepo. How can you tell if a shark likes you? <laughs> he takes another bite. <laughs> a little Pokepanesian humor. <laughs> ah, your friends must be arriving. But I think we have enough sharks to go around. <laughs> You let me go! Get back, you! Ah. Yank! Throw me that mooring line so I can... Yank! <laughs> Fading fast! Listen! Ah, ah, the machine I built for Pokemon is... <laughs> it's not a weapon! <laughs> Yank! The mooring line! <laughs> it's an escape pod! I, I, ah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That was pretty good. You're not kidding. Now put me down. Come on! Yank built us an escape pod. Ooh, good monkey. This is it. And do you, Yank, swear to fulfill your duties and obligations as director of the National Space Program? <laughs> oh, let's put that down as a yes. Someone get the director a banana! You know, gang, <laughs> when you're a superhero, you never know where the day will take you. You may find yourself halfway around the world in the shark-infested waters of true-to-life living. Or you may find yourself going down to the store for a lozenge. You can't know, can you? No! You gotta ride that wave. You gotta suck that lozenge! Cause if you don't, who will? Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> Where indeed? Thank <laughs> you.